Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tug Attic from the dock. Captain Vince Russo here. I'm going to show you how to clean a red today a little differently than you've seen on my videos on YouTube. I'm going to clean this particular one without scaling it. I usually scale all my fish before I clean it for cleanliness reasons and not have any scales on it. Even though I skin it, I still scale it. But on these reds, you really don't have to do it. And I'm going to show you another way to do it with only removing a few scales before we go to clean it. Okay, gang, we're going to pull up a little fish Monica caught the other day. A nice little red that we want to clean that day. And I want to shoot a little video for you. So we're going to pull it out of our little hole in the pen. I hear you knocking and I'm coming in. This red fish is now become a white fish. Just picked up the color of the drum. There he is, isn't that a beautiful fish? Good heavy duty curved edge knife, carbon steel, which is very sharp. We're gonna start with this red, still alive. Can't say this with it in fresh. Instead of coming out behind the fins like we normally do and cut it back on an angle, we're going to now cut it, cut the head off, and I want to show you this because right here on every fish is a tender spot. And if you hit it just right, you won't have to struggle with having to cut the head off. What you do is you take it, pull it back very lightly. Watch how easy I cut right through that. Cut through in a seesaw motion, back and forth, and it cut it in a C, and you will save all that head meat. Put that aside for my crab traps later. Then you want to take it, push the knife up in here between the two fins in the center, cut down, pull back. See again how much better this knife is than one of those fillet knives you see that are so flimsy they almost seem like they're going to break on you. Cut back through, scrape out your kidney, pull out the stomach area and bladder area, trim that off, and we come back and we wash it well. Just remember, we don't just do it here at one of these electric knives where you can fry the backbones afterwards. We show you don't just do it, do it right. To each his own how to do it. We like to say, don't just do it, do it right. We're going to get you back as much meat as you can possibly get out of this fish. Okay, now, the fish is kind of slippery because he's so fresh with the slime on the outside of it. We're going to lay him up on this towel. It's a really good thing to do. I'm going to show you. Take this curved edge knife again. You want to cut with the curve in a little seesaw type motion. Put your hand here. Cut right on back. Right on top of the anal fin. Touching the bone. Keeping your finger here so you can feel it as an extension of the nerve in the tip of your finger. After you cut there, you come up on side the, the uh, rib bones. Attach to the vertebrae. Come back down, scrape it so, so lightly. You can see we clean it here. We're proud of it when we finish. We don't show you throwing that backbone overboard. Then we come in close right here along the, the uh, dorsal fin. If you notice, I'm coming right between the scales and the skin, and I don't even have to scale the fish in order to do that. Now that's how you take it off the backbone. See that? There any flesh left on that one. Then you flip it over, come back again, cut on top of the anal fin and hold it, pull up on the tail. It's so slippery I can't get a drip on the tail. Pull that fin out. Okay? Now, we want to come back, turn the fish over. The next thing we want to do is we want to apply pressure down with our left hand, take our knife, and we want to come now in between the fin again, the dorsal fin and the top of those scales. Seesaw back and forth, keeping our index finger on the blade so we can feel where we're rubbing. Go back and forth with our curved edge knife again. Cut with the curved part. Get up over the hump in the vertebrae. Come back down on the other side. Pull it back through. Then you just turn your fish up. Cut right through. There's a rib cage you can be proud of throwing back. There ain't any meat on this one. Nice and 
skinny. Now, scrape out a little bit more. Next thing we're going to do is clip off a fin here. We'll clip off another fin on the back side here. And I'm going to show you another little thing we're going to do. Since we're going to, we're going to clean this one and not take the collarbone out. It won't be 100% free of bones, but it'll be enough where the bones we're leaving in are large enough that you can eat around them real easy. Set this out. We're going to put our rag back down here again. Keeps it from sliding around on us a little bit. I'm going to show you something. You can take this fin right here, turn it, and as you're holding it with your hand, left hand, Take your index finger again here on the blade and just slightly roll it going right along the back side of it and that whole big old bone comes out. You won't waste a lot of that actually sweet and tender meat that's up in that collarbone. Okay, turn around we'll do the same thing on the other side. Lay it down, hold it, turn it. Just keep turning it and moving the knife along the edge, just like you see it here. I'm a one-man crew here with this camera, so I hope everything is showing up right. All right, now we're going to go back. We're going to move the rib bones. We turn a knife blade up. We come right behind them. We cut here. We rub back again. Our index finger on the blade, coming right up against those heavy, deep-seated bones on a redfish. Come back down, score the other side. Boom, there they are. All of them pulled out. You eat it like a banana and enjoy it. Now, every fish like this has a few more bones that runs back on the high side, back into this section. You cut back on that. You can actually feel them with the tip of your finger. You come back, cut the other side, and out they come. That's the other rip four or five bones that run in there. There's your fillet on that half. We come back to the other one. Same thing, just reverse it. Turn the knife blade up. Cut it in. You can see how this curved blade knife works so well now got some backbone to it you can actually cut with a wider surface in those little skinny thin knives they call for lay knives but we actually use them for skinning which I'll show you here in a second get those bones out cut back down along again pull them out once you get those out like we did before you come back in we'll catch those bones I told you about again there's four or five bones that run back in this side you cut right on this side of them you can feel your knife blade running along the side of them. You come back on the other side, and you come up, your thumb, and your knife is a pair of pliers, and you throw it out, and you finish there. Now, a lot of people, they would scale them in advance, they could eat the scales on. What we're going to do now, I'm going to show you a little tool that we've been shipping out with our orders. We've got about maybe 40 or 50 of them left. A lot of people think it's a fish scale and want to show it to them, but this is basically just a little piece of broom handle with a beer bottle cap on it. And what I use that for is when I go to skin the fish, I lay the fillet down, then I come back with my eight inch skinning knife and I take the skin off by laying it on the, on the board, tail toward me. I put my uh, bottle cap down on the tip, which helps hold the meat and get me close again. And you can see I just hold it cap right there. I want to get a little bit more to hold on to. I hold back with a seesaw wiggle type motion, take all the skin off. Now, when that's finished, we'll show you our backbone and our skin. Look at that. Looks like a snake just scared its, scared its skin. And there's a nice pretty fillet with that large chunk of collarbone meat still on there. And you got the extra belly meat there. We aren't wasting it as well. Flip it over again like I showed you. Lay it down. Put your little tool on the end. Help you start off your skin process. Once you get it there, same thing. Seesaw motion back and forth, and off it comes. No fat, no bone, no gristle. I hope we showed you something different here today and how to skin it so close and not even have to scale that redfish. Really, it's really a big time saver. Thank you very much. Appreciate doing it for you. We'll close up the show in just a second. I hope I taught you something new on how to clean a fish today and why these curved edge knives work so well. Please tell your friends about our site and subscribe and hit the like button. This is a tug addict saying once again, thank you for watching and don't forget, go fishing.